This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Just plagiarize, man. Look. No! You can't be serious. You cannot be serious here. Oh no. You, oh my god, you can't be serious. David, David Neat, David Neat, we went over this. I told you, first of all, I told you don't give me a choice because I thought there would just be a choice as to what kind of genre we would write, maybe, if there was anything at all. But no, I have to physically write the poem? Are you kidding me? I don't know how to fucking write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, I, I, I choose. Whew. Whew. Okay, well, okay, that's a little better. I don't physically have to write the poem. Th these are just 20 words? 20 words! 20, well, okay, I guess 20 words isn't very long for a poem, <laughs> but I have to... I have to choose 20 different words. I already made a save because I, I took a little bit of a break and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep going. But I am. Oh my god. Where's... Where's... Monica. You, you guys are like hopping around. Where's Monica? Where'd she go? Or whatever. Alright, we're writing a poem. And I gotta decide... Based on... Ooh. Okay, so frightening, dark, disown. I'm gonna assume that's all fucking Yuri. Bubbles. Um. Vitality, maybe. Because there, there are. Uh, no, there are ten here. There, are, there are not nine. There are ten. So, well, I, I mean, it wouldn't make sense. For there to be three, 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 anyways, because Monica's also a girl, and so she's also probably here. But you can't divide ten by four. You can divide twenty by four. So five for each. But that no, that's that's out of pages. So two hundred. I can choose out of two hundred words. That's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. A lot of words. And I'm sure I could make it, like, perfectly even. Like, split down the middle. Everyone has, like, what I have, what they like in, in the poem. But, you know, whatever. We're just, we're just, alright, what am I, what am I, we're, we had a dream. Why'd you bounce? Why'd you bounce, Yuri? Why did you bounce? Yes! What well, changed! It changed! This is what? No, bad, bad. This is bad. This changed. I cl I collect dream, and she she hopped up. Why did she hop up? I don't know why she hopped up. Um, puppy suicide, <laughs> eternity parfait, sugar sunset, strawberry sadness, happiness precious. Okay, uh, eternity. No, stop hopping. Stop hopping, Gary. Stop it. I don't want you hopping. I, I, I want her hopping. I want Natsuki to hop. Um. Anime. Yes. All right. I didn't even read the other ones. Uh, tenacious. Mouse. Dance. Intellectual. Oh, you can't divide 20. You can't divide 20 by 3. You can't do that. So, so Monica. Monica's not here. I don't see Monica anywhere. Which is weird. Maybe she'll show up later. I don't know. Uh. Tenacious, mouse, dance, intellectual, grief, vivid, milk, bunny, universe, cheer. I don't know. Um, so what, what, what are we, what are we writing about right now? We're writing about eternity and anime. Eternity anime. Um, eternity anime, milk. She likes milk. <laughs> Great, Eternity Anime Milk. Eternity Anime Milk. 
milk. What? Eternity, anime, milk, music. Okay. Well, we got one, one, and two. So, eternity, anime, music, milk. I have milk in there now. Blanket, together, desire, fickle, kitty, disarray, treasure, ambient, defeat, excitement. Okay, maybe what I'm writing, kitty, yes. So we have anime, music, and kitties. So maybe, I mean, I guess kitties could just be like memes. We're just talking about, our poem is about memes. No, no, not memes. Our, our, our poem is about media, media, e lasting forever. I, I guess, I guess. I mean, are books considered media? I, I don't know. I don't know if they're considered media. Anime is media. Music is media. We got YouTube videos with kitties. We got milk. <laughs> we got milk. I don't, I, we got milk, I guess. I, guess. I, I don't know what milk represents. It's heaven scent. Heaven scent. Chocolate. Kawaii. Kawaii. Hopeless. Promise. Imagination. Spinning. Kawaii. Jump. Heaven scent. Chocolate. Play. Lazy. Um, we could do lazy. That would, that would be a Sayori. That would undoubtedly be Sayori. Um, kawaii. 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 Um, eternal anime music kitties. Kawaii anime music kitties. And milk. Kitties like milk. All right, you know, kitties. Well, I mean, I, I, that's like a stereotypical thing. I don't, I, I, I haven't had a cat. I don't know if they actually drink milk, but, um, I know they're associated with it, you know? So, kawaii. <laughs> You're the kawaii. Okay. Lust. I don't think lust needs to be part of milk or anime or kawaii. All right. No kawaii lust. Kawaii lust. No. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do, do not, do not need, do not want. Waterfall, warm, cute, nibble, nibble, time, captive, vivacious, whirlwind, cage. A cage, a whirlwind of media, a cage of media? Hmm. I guess this, a cage, would sort of represent Natsuki, right? Because she feels caged that she can't express her interest because she doesn't feel anyone else would be interested in them. When we were about to talk about manga, she was about to talk about manga, but then she was like, no, I can't. That's not normal for a girl like me to take part in manga. So we're going to take, we're going to include Cage. I fuck, fuck you, Yuri, fuck you. I don't care if that's something you enjoy. It's, it's part of our message of this eternal cycle of media, but feeling caged. That we have to consume the media in our little cage and we can't express the media that we enjoy regardless of what medium it is in. Color, playground, starscape, wrath, bouncy, insight, poof, poof. At the end, we just poof, I guess. Effulgent, contamination, Contamination. No. Valentine. I guess that's kind of along the same thing. Um, sure. Yeah, that's... Also being caged and can't express your romantic desires with... with e even with the people that you love, you can't express your interest because it's just... You don't think... The, you think they'll judge you because of it. Yeah, that's right, Natsuki. I... I got it. I got you now. I got, I got you now. Uh, clouds, anxiety, rainbow, adventure, papa, pleasure, passion, passion, melancholy, passion, and capable. Flower. Okay. There are a lot of things here that represent the theme we're going with here. This eternal... This feeling of being trapped eternally. There's no... You can't sense a way out of this. 
And for that, we got anxiety, passion, melancholy, and incapable. Incapable of expressing your desires. We're melancholy because we can't do anything we want to do. That society is boring because of these, these uh, preconceived notions that people won't like these cool things, these kawaii things, you know? Um, and then we got, we got passion, you know, she's passionate about these things. She's passionate about writing these kawaii anime kitty poems but she is not comfortable in sharing them, but she's still passionate about them. And then of course, anxiety. She's afraid of people judging her for expressing these things, for expressing desire in these things. She can't say she likes anime and video games. That's not a girl thing. People will think different of her. They'll think down of her. Her family will think down of her. Dishonor to her family. But we can't, it's not a, We're gonna go... We're staying positive. We're staying positive. We're in the cage. We're in this cage of eternal media. But, as long as we stay passionate, Sayori, we will get through it. And we will have milk. Because milk is part of this now. And it has nothing to do with anything else that we're talking about here. But we have milk. We have milk regardless. It's there. We have ocean. Lucky, an ocean of media, I guess. Lucky, uncanny, tears, love, laugh, fester, whisper, judgment, raindrops. Judgment? But I have a feeling. You can't even see what I'm doing right now. I keep doing these like hand motions, arm motions, like you can fucking see me, but you can't. I'm still doing them. You can hear, you can probably hear my, my chair rattling back and forth from me like moving. I'm getting. I'm getting invested in this. <laughs> um, we got the ocean of media. We got love. I don't... Valentine, she was... Was she Valentine or was... Yuri? I think, I think, I think not with Valentine. So love, maybe. She, she wants to express these things. Maybe this poem is feeling caged because specifically... We want to share our interest with the person we love, our Valentine, the person we want to be our Valentine, but we're not sure if they would feel the same way, which is why we feel caged, because we have to be a different person in front of them to, to, to gain their affection. Also, um... These, these are, these are unequally spaced. These lines and these lines are unequally spaced. You can see they're like close together up here, but then they get like farther away and farther away until eventually it syncs up with the one below it. And that's, that's, that's annoying me right now. Um, um, yeah, we'll go love. Fuck you, Sayori! Fuck you and your love. Analysis, summy, su sunny, hurt, jumpy, extraordinary, skirt, fireworks, Infallible Massacre Summer. Hmm. Um. None of these really go with the theme I'm going with here. Jumpy and maybe hurt? No. 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 Fuck you, Yuri. You're not getting hurt. We're not getting massacre. You're not getting analysis. All of these. I don't know enough about you, Natsuki. Do you like fireworks? Even if you do, that doesn't really fit with our theme. That doesn't fit with this cage. I mean, I guess. Fireworks of passion? Sure. Sayori, please! Fluffy socks candy variants alone. Kiss. Empty horror. Misery. Fear. Thanks, Yuri. Socks. I don't think so. I don't think socks. I think... I think... Fear. You know, I understand that that's probably Yuri, because she's all about this fucked up shit, but... I feel like it it melds with our kawaii anime cageness. We're afraid of expressing our passion. Why is that you? 
Why are you fear and she is not fear? I thought she was the one afraid of... <sighs> Sparkle, infinite. Destiny, special philosophy, bed. We're not doing bed. Friends. Sorry. Whistle, calm. Games. Games. Thank you. All, all I have to go on about Natsuki is that she's a fucking... She's a fucking weeb. That's all I got about Natsuki. She likes video games, she likes manga, she likes anime. That's all I got on her. And that she likes some kawaii things. But so does Sayori. So I don't know... I don't know what to do about that. Twirl, tragedy, party, unrequited. Unrequited. Daydream, disown, swimsuit, electricity. Covet, dream. I know Dream already had you hopping up and down, Yuri. Electricity! Uh, okay. Okay. Electricity. We're trying to express ourselves through digital means. Our digital media. And we're trying to express ourselves to our digital love. Our digital love, Natsuki. And I don't know how to express myself like that. Vertigo, pink. If you are not pink, I don't know what you could possibly be. All right, I don't know. And Sayori could be pink. Essence, frightening. Family, wonderful hair, a tone, ribbon, rose. Pink. There you go, Natsuki. Pink. Bliss, existence, death, hope, childhood, shopping, vitality. Fantasy, nature, boop. I just boop my monitor. Fucking boop. Are you kidding me right now? Boop. I. Who would like boop? Sayori? Would Sayori like a boop? That doesn't sound like a Yuri thing. Maybe that's a Natsuki thing. It could be. She could be into boops. I don't know. Probably not death. <sighs> Childhood. Yeah, okay, you... We, 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 gotta, we gotta stick to our theme of this, of trying to express ourselves to someone digitally. We're trying to express our love to them while also feeling caged because we can't be ourselves. Not only because we're behind the veil of the digital, so we feel... Like, we have to, we can, we can be ourselves online, but we also can't be our true selves online. We still feel that fear of expressing our passion. Would you agree, Natsuki? Would you agree? And surely there is hope for Sayori. There is hope for Sayori. Incongruent, amazing, misfortune, climax. No, I kind of, I kind of want to know who here is all about this lust, climax, and bed shit. That's not, that's not what I'm all about here. But I'm kind of interested. It's probably Yuri. It's probably Yuri. Bubbles, cheeks, landscape, melody. 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 Yes. All right. All right. She, she's all about the media. All about the media. Despise, meager, entropy, charm, vacation, memories, forgive, graveyard, sweet and silly. This is silly. This is... This is silly. It's silly that we have to feel caged, that we feel caged at all. This, um, this feeling of being trapped, of fearing our own passions is silly, Sayori. It's uncontrollable, and it's gonna lead to a disaster, and I need some comfort right now. A nightgown sensation, pure. Giggle, determination, headphones. Yes, Natsuki, headphones. I can't fucking believe this. We sit there in our digital world with our headphones on, our, the melody of this music, of this anime soundtrack, is, it's, it, it compels me to write, 
to my Valentine to try and express my love, but I can't because you're caged and we can't show them our true selves, Natsuki. I understand. Awesome Crimson email. Email exactly electricity. Oh, sing though. No, sing is definitely rain cloud, sing, breathe, hop, marshmallow, unending, explode. Sing. That was, oh no. I don't know who I chose Mo for. I don't, I don't, I honestly don't. I want to say we chose Natsuki. We definitely didn't choose <laughs> enough for Yuri. I don't, I think we chose like two for Yuri. But we did a lot for Natsuki at first, and then we kind of straight towards Sayori, and I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I guess we're going to see. Hi again, Demon. I guess our, our school day just ended like that. Here we are again. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Sometimes. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Damon. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment to hear you. Well... Not gonna lie, being in an all-girls club... That would probably be a little overwhelming. I'm just saying. Honestly, that'd be a little overwhelming. I'm not, like, you know sexist or anything. I'm not sexist, but I would feel somewhat uncomfortable. Most, it's, 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 I don't know how to describe it. I would feel weird being in a, in a, I would feel out of place. Like, I don't belong. Not that they don't belong, that I'm not supposed to be here in their zone, you know? making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Alright, yeah, I, I agree. We're going full force. Sire told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. What? Uh, hey, hey. I told her that I was going to join a club. I don't know why she's telling you otherwise because she reminded me that I was going to. And last year, too. Uh, well, I mean, you're going to be there. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out, or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. The, the end of what? I mean, I, 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 I agree, I, you know. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the club room. Whoa, whoa. Yo, all right, that's a little. Ma, ma, ma. Natsuki finds herself stuck between Monica and... Manga. I thought she was gonna say my. I. I mean. Look, that's cool. That's cool. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know why Monica's being a dick to you. All right. M manga is literature. <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki flops back into her seat. All right, Monica. You're you're winning me over more and more. I'm sure. No, honestly, mo I. I was about to say, I'm sure most people are going for Monica. Probably not. <laughs> my words, my mind. I don't know if that was a fruit and slip. I hope not. I dear, dearly hope that was not a fruit and slip, Damon. You better not be thinking about Monica. We're thinking about Natsuki. Not Monica. Natsuki. I'm sure most people are going for Monica. Because it's Monica. It's just Monica. But, I'm going Natsuki. Don't worry, guys. Damon always gives us his best. As long as he's having fun. How do you know this? You're wrong, by the way. I usually don't give it my best. I barely try. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Okay. Maybe. If I had a friend... Uh, if I had a neighbor who was a friend, because I haven't had one of those since I was in elementary school, then I guess I probably would help them out a good bit. Like cooking, cleaning my room? Uh, I mean, I can make a pretty good omelet. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. I can make a pretty good omelet. It takes a while, so I'm kind of lazy, and I don't usually make omelets. And omelets are like, 
the only thing I know how to make. But I know how to make a pretty good omelet, all right? I'm just, I mean, it's probably, it's probably not pretty good in comparison to most people. But I think it's a higher quality than the people in my house make. But, you know, this is, you know, whatever. Cleaning my room. <clears throat> my room is, uh, atrocious, so I don't know if I'd be helping anyone else out with that. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your mo room. <laughs> Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Alright, yeah, we're being we're being protective. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> oh yeah. You two are really good friends, aren't you? You like blushing a lot. All of you like blushing a lot. I just I'm I'm just noting that. I might be a little jealous, please. Look, I know you have a knife. I've heard it. We keep saying it over and over again because I've heard it and I can't unhear that that's a thing. Please, don't be a yawn today. I'm not going for you, Yuri. It's not happening. How come? You and Damon can become good friends too. Um. S S Sayori. Huh? Well, I don't get the problem here. She's right. We can become good friends. We're in the same fucking club. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. What? I'm oblivious to the weird situation you were just put into. I don't know. What's the problem here? Is it because well, she? It's just it's it's a boy and a girl. That's weird because when they're good friends, they like like each other. Is that what you're talking about, Damon? Cause fuck you, we can be friends with people! And fuck you, Yuri! I guess. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? What? Oh, oh I... I... Oh, wait, Sayori! M eh? Me? Ah. Uh, maybe you shouldn't have said that. Maybe you shut up, Sayori. Um... N not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sorry, made it sound like a big deal, but it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Yeah. Well, clearly, but. I All right. Look, I understand she's beyond today. I understand this. I'm not comfortable with it, Yuri, but I understand it. And I understand you have something for us, so just give it to us already. My voice is get is giving out because of those rants I was going on with the caged love in the anime manga and the kawaii milk kitties. The kawaii milk kitties, you know? I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. No matter what it is! It could be a knife to my face, Yuri! I'll be happy! Is, is that so? Yeah, I'll make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out... A book. A book?! I didn't want you to feel left out. Do you think I'm uncultured? You think I don't own books? Well, you're probably right. I don't own any books, but my family does. I, I don't really think any of them are interesting to me, so... I mean, thanks. So, I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. Wait, you specifically... Or, okay, you picked out a book. Does that mean picked out from your collection? Or you bought a book specifically for me yesterday night. Last last night. Because that's a little more out there, but I thank you anyways. You buttons are they're unevenly spaced. Unevenly spaced. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could you know Discuss it if you wanted. 
th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? I... I mean... Oh, uh, no. Yuri. Yuri. You're... You're Lily and Hanako. Together. And that's... Literally... The best possible combination. I think. I mean... I kinda like... Emmy? You know? Hanako and Emmy are kinda my... Top two girls... I mean... Lily's cool. I like Lily a lot. But... Not in... The waifu way. You know? Not in the waifu way. Hanako and Emmy in the waifu way. Like, because Shizune and Rin are cool, but I don't like them in the waifu way. They're good friends. You know, I'd like to hang out with Rin and spout random bullshit with her spouting random bullshit. That sounds fun, but not the waifu way. Not the waifu way. So you are... Um, you're half the waifu way, but Natsuki is also like the waifu way. But I'd also like being friends with, with Natsuki, so I guess I'm okay with either way, you know? I'm okay with being waifu with and not waifu with, you know? And I... I'm not sure about you, honestly. We just met, you know, honestly. We haven't heard, learned, we, Damon Neat, hasn't learned that much about you, Yuri. All I know is that you have a knife. But I, for Damon Neat, doesn't know that. So that doesn't matter here. You're just a girl who likes some horror. And I knew a girl that likes some horror, and she was the only girlfriend I had. But... He also was a little weird, and that is partially why was a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's a little, little uh, clear there, you know. So horror is okay if you like it, but I do not want to partake in the horror. Yuri, okay, just saying, just saying. She even picked out a book that she thinks I'll like. Despite me not reading much. You picked up that much information from me yesterday? Gary, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Wait, hold on. I don't even know what book it is. What what what's the book? Can you show me the book? I need to I need I need information here on what I on what Yuri thinks I like. I enthusiastically take the book. You just said you weren't gonna make a big deal out of this. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Mo or I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. What do you do in a literature club? I don't know. I don't know what you do in any club, but especially a literature club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry, Monica, are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. <laughs> I wonder why! Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her, in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. I mean... I agree. I don't usually have anything organized. At all. Ever. But... If I did have something organized, if I went through the trouble of organizing it, I would definitely be very pissed if someone unorganized it that was not me. But I would also be pissed if I did it, because then I would be like, Fucking Damon! We just had this organized! Why are you doing this to yourself, me? And then I'd be upset. But I wouldn't really do anything about it, because I'm lazy. But I understand where you're coming from! Kind of. Kind of. 
Manga. You read manga, right? Ah! S sometimes. I mean, I read the hyper <clears throat> him Hyper Dimension, Neptunia manga, the original Hyper Devotion War manga. Though if there was, I'd read it. There's probably some Dojin Shis out there, but I'm not interested in that route, okay? I did read the Hyper I read both Hyper Dimension mangas that were at least up to where they were translated. Um, I haven't read the Dengeki one. I think that was also for the anime, but I didn't read that one yet. Um, and I've read part four and five and six and seven of uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I read those manga. Um, I didn't read the first three because I already watched the anime and I didn't want to read the manga for something I had already watched. But I read the manga for the other parts because they hadn't come out yet. And part four, well, part four had started coming out, but it, it wasn't fully done. And I wanted to know what happened in the rest of the story, so I read it. But, yes, yeah, sometimes, not recently. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. Exactly, Damon! Natsuki! We feel caged about our passions! Also, when are we supposed to exchange our poems? How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Yeah, we said it yesterday. I guess I wouldn't remember that I measured it yesterday, so fair enough, Damon, that you don't remember it. C props on you for remembering that. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Thanks. What's that supposed to mean? I... I see. It's a lone volume of manga amidst the stacks of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Parfait girls? So, all of those things about bubbly marshmallow parfait... That was all you! That was all you! Fair enough! Fair enough! You're in like a double cage, Natsuki. The first cage is the anime manga gaming side of you. The second cage inside is that you're also actually a girly girl. But those are both cages! So what are you on the outside? I don't know. I don't know. Just a proper... girl? I guess? Double caged, man. That's... that's a rough life. I mean, I was pretty caged, you know. Your first year, so yeah, I was, I was pretty caged then. I actually wasn't in... I wasn't into anime and stuff like that for... Uh, a while. I didn't get really into it into, uh, for a while. Until I started playing Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Basically, that's when that's when everything went fucking flip side. But I mean, I, I, I watched stuff before that, but I wasn't super... I, I was actually kind of against the weebs and stuff. It was... It was, uh, it was a weird time. You remember! Well, maybe you don't remember. But when we played uh, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 2... I fucking hated Red, because Red was everything I thought anime was, and I hated it. But now, I... I have accepted it, Natsuki. I've accepted it. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's way out of... That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. Wow! That's rude! D Damon Neat, that's fucking rude. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass in that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging or anything except in my mind because I'm a prick. I didn't say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Damon. Consider this a lesson straight from Literature Club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. 
She shoves the book right in my hands. Wow. Thanks? You unset that cage real quick. Both those cages. I stare at the cover. Features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. Look. I liked Nichi Joe. I also liked Lucky Star. While Parfait Girls is probably not like either of those exactly. I think I could dig it. I think I could dig it. It's exceedingly Moe. Don't just stand there. Oh, uh, Natsuki grabs my arms and pulls me out of the closet. Oh, whoa. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Whoa! Natsuki! Natsuki, we're going a little far. We're reading together? You know, ironically, that's how it started first. With me and my, my ex, actually. Uh, eighth grade, we had, uh, it was, it was, uh, L.A. class, uh, language arts, language arts class. And, for some reason, the teacher decided we were going to read outside for once. The only teacher I ever had that had us go outside for anything that was not biology. We went outside in biology once when we did some, uh... We... Uh, I don't remember what we were doing. We did something with a river. I don't remember if, it, if we were catching something, like a bug, or... If we were just, like, getting bacteria, I don't, I don't remember. But, only teacher I ever had that was like, Yep, we're going outside this one day, never again. We went outside, we read. And I read with this one girl. To then became my girlfriend at some point, and that was, uh... Weird. Anyways, I guess we're doing that, Natsuki, but not outside, you know, so, no, not exactly. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Damon! Damon Neat! Damon Neat, I gotta address you by your proper name, Damon Neat. No! Have you ever sat in a chair? They're awful. I'm sitting in one right now, and I don't want to be. My, I have a standing desk in my own room that I edit on, that I kind of don't use all that often, but I prefer standing. If this desk wasn't so short, I'd be standing right now. And I'm gonna be standing for VR, because I like standing. Chairs are uncomfortable. The floors are actually pretty comfortable, honestly. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why's that? Ah. Uh, I guess it's easy to be close together like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Don't just say that. You make me feel weird about it. As he crosses her arms and scooches a an inch away from me. Alright, you know, fair, fair. I'm totally okay with not bumping butts with you. Uh, sorry. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I could say it's a particularly bad thing. Wait a second. Damon Neat, what year are we? What year are we? She's a first year, isn't she? At least that's what we assumed. We're with Sayori. And... We're at least second year. We're at least the second year because Natsuki mentioned about how we... Didn't, uh... Natsuki mentioned that Sayori talked about how we didn't do any club things last year. So we're, we've at least experienced first year clubness non-clubness. So, we're second year, we're maybe third year. Maybe third year. Being third year would make this a little weirder. Because ages are weird. I don't know if... I don't know if I would have been comfortable... Well, uh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I would have been fine being friends with a freshman when I was a third year. Wait, how does... How does... How does anime school work? Because <laughs> I'm gonna be an insensitive prick. How does... How does Japanese school work? D is... Is it the same as high school? Is... Is first year, like, freshman in America? 
Or is it like sophomore? Because there's third years, right? But you don't have a fourth year? So... First year would actually be sophomore, right? And then junior, and then senior. Yeah, so... Those would be the three. Right? I think so. So I guess that's a little less weird. Um, I was gonna say, I would have been fine as a senior being friends with a freshman. I would have been fine with that. I don't think I would have been okay with dating a freshman as a senior. That's That seems weird to me. And a sophomore? Uh, that's still kind of weird. It was weird dating a senior. <laughs> you know? Well, no, okay, I broke up with their junior year, so. It was weird dating someone my age. So, I can only imagine it'd be weird dating someone younger than me. Also, I just realized you have pink in your eyes. Like, in your... Uh... Pupils. <laughs> Words. Literature. Uh, anyways, not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I'm getting so lost in myself here. I open the book. The book. The book. It's a manga. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I could feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Wow! Typical slice of life affair! I am totally down with some slice of life stuff right now. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. You know what? I was about to go on... I was about to say the fuck you saying, Damon Neat, but... I guess... I agree with the latter half, not the first half. I like Slice of Life stuff, but... You're right, it's rare for... Them to be worth it. I, under I understand where you're coming from, Damon Neat. Because Lucky Star and Nichi Joe, they're writing. Well, okay. <laughs> no, no. Let, let me let me rephrase that. Nichi Joe does have some pretty out there writing that's entertaining enough to make up for the lack of anything. Lucky Star, <laughs> at least at first, the entire first episode, I think, anyways, was them talking about chocolate, uh, cone-shaped things, I don't even know what they're called, they're just talking about it, talking about how you're supposed to eat it. And that was it. That was the whole episode. And it was great. It was amazing. But it wasn't, it, I mean, it was entertaining in the same way that I watch people play video games that are entertaining. It was just like we were having a conversation with friends, you know? That's what it was like. And that's cool! I enjoy that. I guess. So, I kinda disagree with you, Damon, but I see where you're coming from. That it's it's hard to have a manga or anime, because I've only seen the anime of those things. Um, it's hard for those to be that entertaining. When it's just Moe garbage. So... What should I expect from this? That hell! Oh, expect nothing! Is there gonna be plot? Damon! Damon me! What are you doing? What are you doing? You're ruining everything! Oh, uh, well, obviously! You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... Uh, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Oh, yeah, Kaon. I, I don't know why I forgot about Kaon. Kaon is totally slice of life. I also I also watched Kaon. I did not read Kaon because apparently the manga or not the manga, the four panel whatever thing sucks. Apparently I don't actually know, but that's what I've heard and seen. So not like I was gonna. Well, I mean I guess if it was praised enough, I might have read it at some point, but I didn't. Cause who what who reads? 
a music based manga. That's stupid. <laughs> and, and, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's that's I I I I guess I'm being I'm being I'm being stupid. <laughs> like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop, but that just helps you to get to know the characters. Yeah, I I I agree. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories, and when some of the romance starts to happen. Romance? Between the girls? You mean... Yuri? Really? I guess that's... that's... fine with me. But is it fine with them? I don't know. That's really what makes it so good. There's so many touching parts. Ah. Huh. Is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> uh, hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh... That's gives me a little shove. I just meant I haven't saved you at your full power. <laughs> huh. Good save. Ah. This chapter seems like it's about baking. How do you read with someone? I mean, I guess manga's a little easier, but... I, I, I never... I think I tried doing that once with someone, but it was weird, because... Well, yeah, it, it, what, what I was talking about before with LA, we were reading our own books, but we were next to each other, but... I, I, I've tried reading with a friend before, but it's weird, because, like... You get to the end of the page at different times... Or this is, like, an actual book. You get to the end of the page, and you're like, alright, are you done? Wait, but you can't, like, say that, because they're reading, you can't just break their concentration, but then you just have to, like, weirdly look at each other, like, are, are we, are we moving on? Are we done here? I don't know. And then, then the person who's slower feels weird, because they have to rush, and the person who reads super fast is like, alright, I guess I'll read it twice over, you know, so it seems like I'm going slower, and, you know, it's, it's just like, that's weird, but I guess manga's a little easier, because it's shorter? Do the pages are shorter, so I guess you can flip the pages faster. <laughs> this is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Y yeah... Well, why does that matter? It doesn't... I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? Uh, that's... It's just a coincidence. <laughs> just a coincidence. Do you have cosplay? Do you have cosplay? Soon today, Natsuki. Do you have a cosplay? Because if you do, then you're just noir. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have the. Oh, I guess you're uni. And noir. That's weird. You can't be uni and noir, Natsuki. That's... That's weird. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got into this manga. I <laughs> like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. <clears throat> I feel anyone... I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely... Not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Well, um, to be fair, the only reason I joined Chess Club was because I played Katawa Shoujo. And I liked Hanako. And I was like, oh, Hanako's good at chess. I could play chess. Chess Club. And that didn't go very well. That didn't go very well. But, you know, I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention, she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Whoa! Hold on, are we getting this because of the poems? But we didn't share the poems yet. Or are we gonna get this for, like, every character and we just happen to get Natsuki first? Also... You're like... I, I, I understand you're all about, like, cats, but... 
You remind me of like a a dog. <laughs> uh, you remind me of like a puppy. You got like the little little ears things here. I can see you having like a little little cute nose and you know you like a little little sharp tooth being like you know you're you're a puppy girl. You know you got cat girls. You got puppy girls. I could I could see you being like that. You, you look cute because of that. You know just just saying. We read on for a few more minutes. Finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you- What? Why? Are you sure this isn't boring for you? Because I'm such a prude? It's not. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, well, all right, all right. I, I thought you meant the manga. <laughs> Even though you're just watching me read? Oh, well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. Guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. Exactly! That's what the poem was about, Damon Neat. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. Yeah. I bet that would be nice, Damon Nee. I bet that would be nice. Actually, what am I talking about? All the only people that I talk to on a somewhat regular basis, they're they're some I, everyone that I know personally that's into Hyperdimension Neptunia is because of me. Even if we're not the best of friends, ish. They're into it because of me. I introduced it to them. And that makes me feel kind of good. Even if it's not really a multiplayer kind of series, obviously. But it's still, still nice to just be able to relate to someone about that, I guess. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um... Uh, that's not. Uh, well, I wouldn't really know. Yeah, I wouldn't really know it for anything else, honestly. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Don't you share your manga with your friends, Natsuki? Cause I don't. Well, I mean, no, I don't. I've had wine, well, I guess I showed one of my friends the manga, but I don't think they read it. I don't know. I don't. I mean, it was one of the people that was already into I would mention Neptunia as well that I introduced to, but I don't know if they read it. And I didn't introduce JoJo's Bizarre Adventure to anyone, they introduced it to me vicariously. I actually. I tried watching JoJo, um, a, a long, long before I was into Hyper Dimension Neptunia, and if I had gotten into it, I'd be a much different person now, if I had gotten to that before I got into Neptunia, but I didn't, because the person who was talking about it, the, the, the friend I had at the time in high school, they were, like, viciously into it. Like, disgustingly into it. Like, red levels of weeb about JoJo. And I didn't like being forced. I didn't like that being forced down my throat. So, all I did was, like, watch the first episode. I saw Dio. Or, it might have, it might have been the first couple episodes. I don't remember. I, I saw Dio kick a, kick a dog and kill a dog and basically just beat up Jonathan. And I was like, wow, this show sucks. I don't want to watch a show where the main character just gets fucking destroyed by Dio. That's, that's not, I don't like that. And, and then I watched it later because it was a popular thing. And it was just in the group. People like JoJo and I was like, all right, I'll check out JoJo. And now, I like Dio, because he's an immortal vampire. 
I like vampires. I like undead. I mean, Dio's... Dio's an asshole. Dio's a piece of shit. I don't... I don't like Dio as a person. I like Dio as a character. So... Anyways. C could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, I could never get my friends to read this. You should think manga's for kids. M well, yeah. Can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh? You still haven't gone out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh. I know those kinds of people. Yeah, I do know those kinds of people. Well, I did. I wasn't... I was never actually bullied in school, but I knew the kind of people that would bully people. But I was pretty good at just shutting up and just not existing so that I wasn't the target for anything. And it worked out. It worked out extremely well. Never had an issue. Well, I had issues in, like, gym class because... <laughs> I I wouldn't participate. I would I don't know how I passed. I don't know how I passed gym. I didn't do anything. I I and I had to have passed because I I never failed a class in in uh, school. But I sat out regardless of what was happening unless it was hockey. If we were doing like a sports thing, not just like exercise or whatever. If we were doing sports I was not involved, but I was involved in hockey, because I actually had fun with hockey. It was fun, just like shoulder bashing people because no one fucking cared about that, and just whacking that puck, that was fun. But I, basketball, fuck, fuck that. Dodgeball, everyone, no one follows the rules in dodgeball. No one follows the rules in dodgeball. No one enforces the rules in dodgeball. It's just a slaughter fest. Didn't have fun with that. Any, any, anything that was happening, I just sat out. I mean, I, I would, I, you know, run in, in stuff and things we had to do, but I wouldn't participate in any any activities that were supposed to be fun. I would have no fun with, so I didn't do them. But I, I knew people that did. I, I, I knew people that would be dicks. I, I and, and in those situations, they would be dicks, but they didn't really have many problems. Also, what, what did, what did you just say? Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Most those friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. It's probably harder for someone like you. <laughs> someone like you, who's not a loser, Natsuki. That is kind of a backhanded compliment. Or, yeah, kind of a backhanded compliment. Backhanded insult? Backhanded insult? I think that's a backhanded insult, because I'm kind of insulting you, saying it's harder for you to have similar friends, but that's because you're not a loser. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. Ah, see? She's caged, I understand. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. Ah. Uh. Huh. What would my dad do if he discovered I was into Hyperdimension Neptunia? Well, he's actually kind of into anime now. Uh, it's weird. He watches more anime than I do. But, he'd probably think Neptunia was something etchy related. Because it kind of is, but it isn't. But, he would probably think that, but he probably wouldn't care. He wouldn't judge me for it, except at least not openly. And I guess that's fine. I don't know about your your dad, Natsuki. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. <sighs> well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? <laughs> so? 
Jeez, that's enough. You gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. <laughs> Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her fingers on one of the panels. Minori's my favorite character. <laughs> you always feel a little bad for her, since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Ugh. I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Yeah? I know, I know how you feel, Natsuki. I totally understand. I... I despise spoilers. Absolutely, I hate anything being spoiled for me. I like experiencing it firsthand. But, when I'm talking about something, I have trouble, sometimes, not being spoilery about it. Because I just want to express why I like this thing. Like, I mean, I'm being spoilery about this game. You know, maybe there are people that haven't seen anything about Doki Doki Literature Club. They don't know Yuri has a knife. They don't know anything that anything fucked up's about to happen. They should, because... <laughs> <laughs> you should be watching a fucked up game that you don't know is a fucked up game if you're not prepared for a fucked up game. If you don't like fucked up games, you should not be doing that. But, people could not know how fucked up it gets. They don't know that anything bad's about to happen immediately. I mean, I don't know if anything bad's about to happen immediately, but... I... It's sort of... I understand the problem you're in, Natsuki. Just finish this chapter. Alright, alright. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends. I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. Exactly. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Yeah... Right... Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Sorry! I just need to make sure we have enough time! Though you do look pretty cozy over there! <laughs> eh? Ah! Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily sides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Uh, Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. Close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just... giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh... Yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. I... Yuri already gave me a book that I don't know anything about that I have to read because otherwise I'd be a dick. And now I have to read this too? I mean... I think I'd prefer Parfait Girls over... Whatever horror shit Yuri wants me to read, but I'd still read it anyways. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish it if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. <laughs> finish it tomorrow! Well, uh, it's, a, it's one volume. That shouldn't be too hard, honestly. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow? I only got part way through the volume so far. Hey, that shouldn't be that hard. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. <sighs> Who cares? There's a girl that wants to read manga with you, Damon Neat. Even if you're not romantically interested. That's pretty cool. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then, stand up. I turn to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. Hey, hey, well, I guess you don't have any other way to protect it. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Would you kill me if I said no? Your face... 
Says maybe. Says maybe. <laughs> and I'm concerned about that. Yeah. Yeah. My relaxation ends. Can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Couldn't really find much inspiration, since I've never really done this before. Not much inspiration! Damon! Neat! Do you remember what we wrote last night? About the eternal feeling of being caged because we can't express our love to the one we truly desire with the medias that we enjoy, we are passionate about, we're afraid to express the kawaii milk kitties. The kawaii milk kitties. Monica. Monica. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Wait. We can't just... But we can't share with one person. There's five of us. That doesn't... That doesn't work. That... Numbers don't work like that. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. You can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Wait, who am I sharing with? Who should I show my poem to first? <laughs> 